Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, and here is today's cruise news. American Cruise Line has announced a new 35-day Civil War Battlefield cruise that will visit every major battlefield from the war. The journey departs from New Orleans, Louisiana on May the 4th, 2024, and concludes on June the 6th in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The voyage visits 13 states with each day highlighting battlefields from Fort Sumner to Shiloh to Vicksburg and Antietam. The cruise will be led by Burton Hayes Davis, the great-great-grandson of Jefferson Davis. America's special cruise will take place on board three ships sailing the Mississippi River, the Tennessee River, the Potomac, the East Coast Intercoastal Waterway, and the Chesapeake Bay. Prices are starting at $24,700 per person, depending on the stateroom. Our next cruise news story focuses on Princess Cruises and their honoring of a World War II veteran, Lieutenant Colonel James H. Harvey III, a retired United States Army Air Corps and Air Force officer, celebrated his 100th birthday aboard the Discovery Princess cruise ship on Monday. Lieutenant Colonel Harvey is one of the surviving members of the Tuskegee Airmen, a group of African-American Army Air Corps pilots who served during World War II. Lieutenant Colonel also participated in the Korean War as the first African-American fighter pilot, flying 140 missions between 1949 and 1950. In 2006, he and his fellow Tuskegee Airmen were awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. The McCord Field Honor Guard welcomed Lieutenant Colonel Harvey and his family on board, presenting the colors in a traditional United States Air Force display. The crew of the Discovery Princess joined the celebration, presenting Lieutenant Colonel Harvey with a birthday cake. The Discovery Princess will be sailing from Seattle to Alaska every Sunday through September, offering passengers the opportunity to appreciate the natural beauty of the region. Certainly a big thank you to the Lieutenant Colonel for his service and for protecting our freedoms in the Great War and conflicts after. Thank you, sir, for your service, and happy 100th birthday. Our next cruise news story involves Carnival Cruise Line and a passenger's objection to dogs. Recently, a Carnival cruiser reached out to Carnival brand ambassador John Heald, complaining that Carnival does not care about people with dog allergies. The person making this complaint came to this conclusion because of Carnival's allowance of service dogs on board and also Carnival's inclusion of drug sniffing dogs at the terminal and on board. This is an interesting story and I'm curious as to whether you guys think this lady has a point or not. Of course, service animals have to be included on board. It's part of the regulations that the cruise lines have to follow to operate their business out of the United States. It's important to note here that service animals only are allowed, not emotional support animals. It's certainly not legal at this point to consume the devil's lettuce on a cruise ship, but certainly people are attempting to do so. And while the drug sniffing dogs, certainly a deterrent, but I guess for some who are allergic to dogs, a challenge. John Hield, in his response to this complainer, essentially says that the cruise ship is a very big place. The number of service animals and drug sniffing dogs are minimal and the ability to not be in proximity to the dogs that would cause you to have allergic reaction is great. Therefore, it should be okay. Are you satisfied with that answer? Do you have a dog allergy? Are you challenged by service animals? Are you challenged by the uh, sniffing dogs? Interesting story. Leave a comment below. All right, time to jump into the mailbag. Answer a question. This email came from Leanne. Hi, Tony. I'm taking a European cruise, summer 2024. Your cruise video really helped cement that our excursion choices were on point. I am curious how you handled the different currency. Did you just use credit cards or did you have small denominations of the different currencies? And what season did you visit? It looked like everyone was bundled. Thank you for your time. Any insight would help. That's a great question, Leanne. Let me tell you how I did it in Europe. I went to a lot of different countries. Some of the countries had their own currency. Some of the countries used the euro. But every country that I went to accepted my credit card. I think one thing we have to recognize as travelers is that much of the world is going paperless. And so you want to make sure that you have a credit card that will allow you to operate in multiple currencies. 
You want to make sure your credit card's not charging you an exorbitant fee to do a conversion. However, it is probably good to have some cash on hand of the local currency. And what I've noticed when I went to Australia this year and what I noticed when I went on this European cruise is that the cruise line has the ability to convert currency for you. So I would say it's a combination of both. I primarily use my credit card. It is good to have a little bit of cash on hand for tipping, those kind of things. And then what to do when it comes to clothing when you travel abroad. This is true in Alaska, this is true in Europe, this is true almost everywhere, unless you're 100% certain what the weather is going to be like, you should have a layering strategy. You may wanna start out with some short sleeves, but have some other clothing that you can put on if it's colder, always have some sort of rain protection. A layering approach to your clothing will serve you well. Great question, do you have a question that I can answer? Send it over to me, Tony at lalitaloka.com. And well, maybe your question will end up on the show. Did you see that video that Leanne was referencing? 30 amazing things I saw in Europe. It was really mind blowing. I would encourage you to watch that video next. Make sure you stay up to date with everything going on in cruising by subscribing. And if you found value in the show today, do me a favor, hit the like button. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.